it's not easy for me to stand humble kwenu tizothi bye bye kubulelo ubulelo ebe intyatyambo pha kwamkhuthukana akukho iziko umuntu igevezela amadolo i don't know what to say this is lost this is a thing I need Sandy as a boss and I'm going to pull a long time to get in a while longer who has an as a parama for me I love a lady I should be selling all of you on go by even in the family we grown up a guy I see to the song a see the bell a song a in goes win Sikuli song mama omtanda kakulu tiko Umama omkutu gana Wa sikuli sele nkonzu ini That's why ugule lo asuka kona That's why ebe kwa zwa omele ni kuzindo zonga tangana nazo Umbone enga wu Ati stand still Noba ime kwa azifumi Ebe nile zomanda ngutiko Wogu kubega nobomu Sometimes the Sikesi Kale. I remember two days before uh, I was at a hospital. We had four nails. Uti Kain Visa, Uti Magarav. Ati Magaravan and four nails. Tisuka Kuya and Gezolo, they fly to East London. Eben Bizile, you know, it was Sunday. It was Sunday in Yellow Sugo. This is the upper. Golesi Tatu Dachi. Kolo sine uyanifone umbebe dushia e e e e kalenge niongoje e kunge kontini za kalenga ayo e hamba e sheka kumnani sisho shuka na sisheka kolo sine uti magaravi ai le niongo inde fume ni andi asbandi chini dia fam dia sekai kandi zamelo mto azonume tangu kundi afa I need to go to go to the doctor and I believe I bo umbe dimu kubeli zolo. Sisi tu ya fa namu tange, kwa vile kwa kivuze la matolo, ezbasi la pana nguku, uti kuthate istebo, wabule it wasn't easy, yo it wasn't easy. I remember kuzinzuku it was Monday, sisi specially, wabule loa sifona longu kwa sisi soko kwenye sisi visitingo three o'clock, sio bonu wabule loa, sinishia epefu mlinga matu mbuni zima. Lekunzi magakulu ebo minka bulelo Agulula nga kutu kuti bulela siti magalale ngokolo ambe But the way akakanji lwe nga ego sa spedlele I remember si fono nga kwa suko wezi visit ngo faifi Si suko wezi visit ngo tri Ngo faifu kweka wea fono Kwa uleza ni pine ni buye Ati kutu ndimu diamba no chumia no mama Ati sal, ati u u unesoko na sala na pe kumbi ni linde, ukwa ugule lo uzashia na nina si bizela nje just long. Yako pungu sikala, we pray the Lord. Simpe na zetu ni tena, lo ugule lo na manda, so zashi, sakanda za, in four hours. Watu kwa ni zamba na ngoba au machini kupalo zero ifu bulela umuji. I remember when this kumile peke ni haki. Upraza wam m m m haki le p p p p squaki. P p f mlu bulela loko ngeko tembe loba anga. Sini yako nde tibut anga si shia. Ndava kaka kundi zoma chini. Tacho ni suki. It was easy, but Sam Kurulu Bulelo, who seven zero than a man, who took him to tell a boy, Simbonile Sebenza, as you were a vogue, a pump goat. Ladies and gentlemen, um Quenya and a way to um Yen Gazahara, um poor Taba. Good day, good day everyone. I'm not sure if it's a, it's a day to be good on for me. It's been a hellish three weeks. I need sleep. As I already 
being mentioned. Uh, I am Zahara's other half. I just want to share a fond memory of how we met and put things in a bit of um, perspective. I met her many moons ago. From the first night that we met, we shared deep, intimate conversations as I was not in a good space of mind myself. And after that, she somehow got hold of my number from a friend. She reached out and she was like, uh, Puti, uh, I think I, I am that person who behaves like a thinker. What I um, produce in my mind, I put it down on paper. And she would say to me, you know what, baby, I, I, I love what you say. But the, uh, this long text of your Ziyangi Dika, like, <laughs> the first person she would call when she wakes up every day was me. Whether she was in a bad mood or whether she was in a good mood, I will forever cherish all the moments I got to spend with you. When we first met, you took me out of a deep, dark place and you restored my faith in love again. You never judged me harshly, but rather cautioned and counseled me. Sun Moon and hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, I did promise you guys that I will be keeping you guys updated with the story. So the memorial service is still underway. That was Zahara's sister as well as her husband. Now it hasn't been long since the husband paid Amalobologo Zahara. Reports states that um, publication stated that two days after Omi and Zahara were that's when she Bolo. actually started getting sick. And they also reported that some of the family members suspect Gutiba Mloi and Zahara, maybe they were jealous. Gutiba finally kona umuntu Zahara amtholile omtandayo, you know, so maybe they were jealous. So two days after Helobola was paid, um, she started getting sick. Okay, she was in hospital for three weeks, like the sister said. And yo, I can only imagine, you know, it's one thing when was but it's another thing when the doctors now be like it's how and they like any time from now. Just stay by her side, say your last words, you know, any time from now anything can happen. But also it, it her sister's statement also now contradicts, but I guess that doesn't matter, but uh, let me just say it anyway. It contradicts what was reported in the papers because what was reported in the papers that when Zahara passed away her husband was by her bedside but the sister didn't mention the husband so I, I'm not too sure about that um, but I guess that doesn't matter like I said that doesn't matter now um, yeah man guys yo, I can only imagine like you just sitting there you are praying four hours you are praying four hours nothing is happening obviously the first thing that is gonna come to your mind was ah campo do what do do you know tina sis kulebuti ko pilayo nothing is gonna happen to our sister and then just nji usaglo moya we temba imshinia kala she's gone it's time yo yeah guys it's hard man um it, it, it's hard it's a hard day for the family it's a hard day for people that really loved uzahara it's a hard day for zahara's partner you know it's just a hard and sad day now zahara will be laid to rest before christmas in the eastern cape the department of sports arts and culture will also land a hand now the office of sports arts and culture minister Godwa has confirmed that both the Eastern Cape and Gauteng government will assist with the funeral arrangements for Zahara's burial together with the National Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. They said, and I quote, the National Department of Sports, Arts and Culture together with Gauteng and Eastern Cape Provincial Government are supporting the family sports, arts and culture spokesperson Lita Mbondwana told the citizen. Now, Mbondwana, however, did not elaborate on how exactly the provinces would be assisting the family. Now, in his interview with the SAPC yesterday, Zahara's former record level DJ Spoo confirmed that the late singer would be laid to rest in her home province in the Eastern Cape. Now, he said, and I quote, her final resting place will be in the Eastern Cape, which is her place of birth. 
the funeral will be on the 23rd just two days before christmas now challenging samro kodwa visited zahara's um, family on tuesday a day after her passing zahara was 36 and the cause of her death is still unknown now the minister was met at zahara's home by members of her family and zahara's friends in the industry now after zahara's passing artist and activist Utsugi Mazwai went on social media to accuse Musamro of mismanaging of funds meant to be paid to artists as royalties. At Samro, there is undocumented work close to a hundred million and people have been pickpocketing in undocumented for years, said Unzig Mazwai. People have been pickpocketing from undocumented at Samro and nothing has been done about it. I don't see NPA. It is quiet. Now, Bondwana told the citizen that Minister Gordo has been inundated with complaints from Mosos. Now, the minister has been inundated with the musicians' complaint. At the recent Southern African Music Rights Organization, Samro AGM, the minister implored Samro to implement a good distribution strategy for royalties. Now, there you have it, Mosanzi. Do let me know if I have the comment section down below.